Now here's a short review for you guys. And sorry I haven't uploaded in a week or so. Because usually I upload daily. Because like the reason why I haven't been uploading lately. Because I've been studying for my AP World History test. Like, the first three I didn't do so well on. Because I didn't really study enough. This one hopefully I could get an 80 and above. For now, now all the school stuff is out of the way. Let's take a look at the figure that will be reviewed today. It's the um, Safari Limited 2004 Leptoceratops figure. Now this figure is pretty obscure and uh, somewhat hard to find. And for a tiny little figure, there's a decent amount of detailing packed inside here. For a tiny 2004 figure, see the Leptoceratops? And it was released alongside the uh, Gorgosaurus and Hypacrosaurus figure. And this one uh, does look a lot like a Cetacosaurus. I think Leptoceratops is supposed to have quills. And this figure does look a lot like a Protoceratops as well. See, the main colors are like some... is mostly green with a lighter green belly. Uh, like a yellowish head. Then some red dots all around the body. See, the tail is rather flat. Does look a little eel-like. And it's in like this, um... This uh, walking pose it reminds me of the new Satakasaurus for 2018 from Schleich. That figure looks amazing. Hopefully, I can get it soon. And this figure is like really small. I have to say, like two and a half to three inches long. And, and if you want this figure, you have to find it on eBay because this figure is pretty hard to find. Along with the Gorgosaurus and Hypacrosaurus released alongside it, and he balances well. And the plastic is so and stuff, so it is prone to warping. So, like, I'm not sure you could find this guy separately on eBay. You have to look for, like, uh, like mostly the rare ones are sold, like, with a bunch of others for like, high prices. So, try to find uh, this guy in there. So, it is a pretty light figure. And it is retired, so, of course, like I said, he'll be harder to find. Start with comparisons. Uh, let's bring out its relative, the Triceratops. See, not really in scale, like Triceratops should be much bigger than this. It's really cool. And next up we have the Safari Limited Baby Triceratops. This is the original repaint. See, they do look very similar to each other. They look like best friends to me. And last we have the Safari Limited Gorgosaurus that was released alongside it. Oh yeah, where I, like, this Gorgosaurus I got from Amazon, but this Leptoceratops I got, like, from... Uh, like, my mom's friend, my mom's friend's house. Like, well, actually, like, I got this from my mom's friend's house, because, like, her, my mom's friend, she has two kids who like dinosaurs as well. And they happen to have, like, a huge box of these dinosaurs, dinosaurs, and I happen to find this, and they let me keep it, because they're not that much into dinosaurs anymore. So, like, I found this at, at their, at their house, along with these, uh, 1996 Safari Allosaurus. So, this was a lucky find, along with this guy on Amazon. And they're really compatible with each other because of the uh, paint schemes and detailing. Detailing and paint schemes on these figures, you can tell they're the older models. So, for this little guy, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. I just wish it was a little larger with a little better paint, but it's fine. So, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.